What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit more exciting than the last. I got the car back from the paint shop. A couple more packages came in for it. Nothing really performance. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so the paint dude did a good job, if you ask me. So I'm going to do a little unboxing real quick. Yeah, so this is all it is. So I'm gonna get that in. I know last video I said this, but we got both on there. JB4 and MHD. But I'm gonna get everything on this bumper put on so we can get on with the video. Got the kidney grill, fog lights with the front lip. All right, to do this install, you're gonna need to take this sensor out, the whole front cowl off, take this cover off, and there's gonna be another cover underneath it to get to the actual computer. All right, the first step is disconnect the battery. There's a 10 millimeter nut on the negative terminal. That's all you gotta remove. So the car won't have any power. Put a rag or something down here, just in case the trunk closes, cause you won't be able to open the trunk. And it's gonna be a little hassle trying to get back here just to put that back on. So after you got the battery disconnected, I'm gonna take this sensor, turn it, and pull it out. I don't know where mine are, but you're supposed to have one, two, three, four, five six after you take out those six bolts it just comes straight out next you disconnect this there's three tabs one right here in the middle one on this side and then one on this side i'm using this off my gerber to get it these are the tabs push it right there push it right there push it right there just come it out next you want to disconnect these two I think it's just a tab right here. And on the back, take that off. Be the same for this side. One in the front, one in the back. Slide it out from there. Next, to get this off, you got one bolt right here, and then another one on the other side. I just got those two disconnected. One, two, Slide this out. It's supposed to be one on the other side. I guess mine ain't there. Should just come out. Oh, okay, I forgot. This holes. There's three clamps. Let me use my Gerber. Now it should come off. All right, to take this off to get to the ECU, there's a latch right here, latch on the back side, and then two clips on each side. Yeah, so these latches push them out. So that's up, that's up. That's up. Already unlocked, so I guess mine was already messed with before. I just work this out. There goes the computer. That's how those latches lock, latch in. Just push them outwards to pull it up. So you're gonna be focused on this group of wires right here and this group of wires right here. So you gotta disconnect this right here. All right, I got one set out. Yeah, you wanna slide this out real far. So, that's that. A little difficult, but to get this out, you gotta put a little force. I took two fingers, pushed it up from underneath. Pin two, but on the bottom half. 
take it out back here for later on when you put the JB4 in. So I just disconnected it. And you pull that bottom pin out right there. Cause that's where pin two was. Push it in that hole while I pull on the cable. And it'll come right out. Fuck! Unbox this. Move to the inside. All right. The wireless connect kit. So to install the wireless connect, you want to take the blue cable out of here, this little wire tap. Basically, tap this blue wire into this thin red one right here. This power wire. You slide it onto the red wire. Take this out. Slide that off. Put it to where it has connection. I know it's done right. If you tug on the blue, it doesn't come out. I'm gonna take it back to the ECU and put it in. Time to install the JB4. We'll start with this group of wires. Get them out. There's a little tab right here. You want to push it up and then they should slide out. Same thing with the bottom. Another tab, push it outwards and it should slide out. And it's pretty simple so whichever one you took out, the JB4 is going to have the matching colors. The black, of course it's not going to be the short board, it's going to be this board. All right, so I'm gonna put this in where this one just came from. This in where this one just came from. And it has an arrow to show you which way it came out. Same as these. So just slide that in. Same deal with the arrow. Slide it in. Make sure it snaps in. It came out like this, so plug it straight in that way. Same thing with this one. The arrow came out like this. Plug it straight in like that. Plug this one back in. On these, same thing. Push that tab out. Should have popped out, there we go. All right, so I gotta take this bracket out first. Push down in there. Pull one side out in that hole. And there's another hole on the other side on the bottom. Push that, it'll slide out. Now, I can take that out. There goes the arrow. Take this arrow. Go straight in how it came out. Plug those in. Pull the bottom one out. Same thing, arrow. Lock it in. Plug it in. Put this back in. Push down at the same time. 
and that'll lock itself in place. Next, plug this into where you pulled this out from. Then the orange one, just plug it into here. And I didn't know this comes out. Fuck! So just make sure you don't drop it. And the way it goes back in, you just back side first into these two little notches. Just push it in, just seat it. Plug this back in. Slide this back down in here. That's locked in place. Grab this, this little bag right here. Plug it to the corresponding sides. All right, that's in place. The wireless adapter. And you take the screws they provided and you put them in here. I'm going to tuck this away. That's what people usually do. Stuff that down in there. The wireless parts right there. Reconnect the battery and see if it works. Battery reconnected. If you didn't hook up the J before correctly, what might be wrong with the car? To open up the JB4 me, you gotta tap the down button and the volume down at the same time. I gotta put the camera down to do it. And that's how you'll know that the menu opened up. It'll go to one. You cycle through all the menu options. Just like that. I'm gonna leave it on one, cause I'm stuck. Change through these menus, just like this. I don't really know what all these menus mean right now. But to back out of the menu, just go all the way down to zero and you press it down one more time. I put everything back together. Let's open up this app and get the tuning. All right, I'm back on the GoPro. JB4 installed. So to tune the JB4, I'm gonna pull up the app. This is my first time opening the app. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, I guess you gotta register. All right. Connecting to the device. Yes, link. Wait a handshake. Good deal. So now I'm gonna try to get the latest firmware. Firmware update. Browse latest firmware files. Scroll down. 32 M54 twin turbo. G5 ISO 32 15 T1. Download firmware file. To upload this firmware, select it. Flash then update. Select. Device must be close to JB4 Connect Kit to update the JB4. All right, I'm gonna click update. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. While it's doing that, I'm gonna go grab my other car and hook the jumper cables up because I don't have a battery charger. And when you flash the MHD, you gotta have a battery charger, so. All right, that's hooked up. I assume it's updated. Right now I'm about to put it on map one. That's map one. Now I'm about to hook up the MHD and do the back end flash. I had to flash it back to stop. It wouldn't show me which DME I had, so I wouldn't know which one to choose. <laughs> when it came time to flash the back end map. 
Bingo. I J E O S. That's what I need. So now I'm about to flash a backhand map. Select I J E O S. Uh, I think this is what I need right here. Cause I'm on pump gas. That's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, options. I don't really care about exhaust bourbon, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the video. Aggressiveness. Put it on hard, you know, all the rest of that alone. We'll come back when it's done. Success. Turn off ignition and wait 30 seconds. I don't know how long this usually takes, like with the laptop set up, but my first time writing it to 24 minutes. I don't know if that's long or short, but they say with the wireless adapter, it's supposed to be a lot faster than how it was when you had to hook it up with the laptop. You wanna open back up the JB4 menu, both down. Go up to speed attack four. That'll be menu four. Go down to two for the JB4 backhand flash. And go back down to menu zero. And go back down to the map you were. I was in that one. Started up a little aggressive. I'm about to get a few revs and I'm gonna get a small pull. All right, here we go. did it stock I left the traction control on so I'm gonna do that again I can hear a little bit of backfire control kicked in. Well, the weather right now is 68. It was probably like 80 something earlier so it might Play a factor. I'm gonna try to get a zero to 60. I'm gonna go straight from zero and just gas it. Cut it off. Let's see if that solves anything. back at the crib that's gonna be the end of this video drop a like if it helped you in any way or if you just like the video 
tomorrow. I'm gonna see what's up with that cold. I already researched it a little bit on the way home. I'm gonna start with the oil and then probably see what's up with those Vano sensors. But that's it for this video. I'm out.